Jensen Button and Joseph Newgarden have stolen the headlines in a week filled with IMSA driver news. Just as I went to press record, Porsche Penske Motorsport announced that Indy 500 winner Newgarden will make his GTP debut with the team at Petit Le Mans this October. Newgarden will join Matt Campbell and Felipe Nazar aboard the number 7 car, which won last time out at Road America, whilst Lawrence Vantor, who drives for Porsche Penske in the WEC, will race in car 6 alongside regulars Matthew Yamane and Nick Tandy. Petit Le Mans is the perfect place for Newgarden to make his GTP debut. The 10-hour race offers him plenty of track time, and I have no doubts that he will be on the pace, but if he isn't, it isn't the worst race to have an off-the-pace driver. Also, with over 50 cars expected on such a short circuit, he'll get lots of chances to work on those traffic skills, which set top prototype drivers apart. I have no doubts that if things go well, We'll see Newgarden again in a Porsche 963 at some point next year. Button was announced as the third driver for JDC Miller Motorsports at Petit Le Mans, with the 2009 world champion joining Mike Rockefeller and Tijman van der Helm in their number 5 Porsche 96 GT3. This is a trio which has a real shot at a big upset win, with JDC on a strong run of form at the moment, and always competitive in the endurance races. Just look back to when they won Sebring a couple of years ago. Button has made it clear he wants to get back into full-time racing next year, and in my opinion IMSA would be one of the best places for him to do so. Wayne Taylor Racing have revealed the lineup for their brand new second the GTP Acura next year, with Jordan Taylor returning home to the family-run team to partner Louis Delatraz. Taylor's move has kicked off a whole load of changes at General Motors, which we'll get on to in a minute, but I'm happy to see him back in a prototype fighting for overall wins, and have no doubts he and Delatraz will be fighting for victories from the off. Felipe Albuquerque and Ricky Taylor have already been confirmed to be back aboard the sister car for 2024. Taylor leaving left a gap in Corvette Racing's lineup, and GM have looked to within to fill it. Nicky Katzberg, Antonio Garcia, Tommy Milner and Alexander Sims will be the four drivers racing for Pratt Miller Motorsports in GTD Pro next year, with who is in which car still undecided, but it's hard to think of a stronger roster than that. This means Sims' time in GTP is going to come to a close at Petit Le Mans, but Action Express Racing have already filled his seat. Jack Aitken has starred in his role as endurance driver for the team and has been rewarded with a full-season drive alongside Pipo Durrani aboard the number 31 Whelan Cadillac. It wasn't a bad week to be Jack Aitken, as he also took his maiden DTM win last Saturday at the Lausitz Ring. Mirko Bortolotti finished second in that race, before winning race two to take over the championship lead with three rounds to go. Over in Japan... GT World Challenge Asia hosted their first ever GT4 only races and it was heartbreak for BMW M Team Stude as they ran out of fuel with just 100 metres to go. But better look, mind, than George Kurtz who was taken out from the race lead in GT World Challenge America after this unfortunate incident. And coming up this week are a pair of big sports car races as the European Le Mans series will be racing into the night at Motorland Aragon on Saturday, before IMSA has its final GT-only race of the season at VAR on Sunday. Oh, and some Formula thingy is back. What are your thoughts on New Garden and Button racing in Petit Le Mans? Please let me know in the comments below, and while she's down there, why not press that like button and subscribe to the channel? It really helps me out. Also, let me know what you think of this video format. If the interest in a weekly roundup show is there, I'll happily make it a thing. 